What is going on guys? In today's video we are talking about everything we learned about nodes in the Alpha 1 preview livestream the other day. Some of the info in here has been known for a while, but there is a lot of new stuff as well, along with finally getting some gameplay to how it works. The quality of the gameplay isn't the best because they are streaming from their VPN and all of that, so this isn't the best quality you're going to see of this. They said they're going to release a higher quality video this week, but it gets the point across for this video. The preview started out with the devs in a starting zone type area which was part of the Alpha Zero map and they pick up a quest that sends them to a developing node nearby. They head to the node which is at stage 1, the Expedition, where it has minimal NPCs along with a couple vendors to get you some gear and some quests to embark on. These quests will give you XP towards the node's overall level to bring it to the next stage which is the encampment stage. The devs cheated this though by adding some NPCs to the game that won't actually be there at launch which gave them a very large XP boost to the node when killed. The encampment stage is a much larger area, more tents have begun to appear, more NPCs in the area along with some fences and other structures making it feel a lot more populated. But we didn't get to spend much time at stage 2 of a node because the devs quickly updated it to stage 3 to show how the node leveling up would work with players within it. All players have collision on them, so when the node upgrades it detects for collision and pulls all players out of that area. Players won't be able to stand on top of each other either, but there will be tools in place to prevent players from blocking entrances. You will be able to tell when a node is getting ready to level up in the final rendition also, as NPCs will begin building structures to show that the node is close to the next stage. At node level 3 is where the fun begins. The node is now at village stage. It is a much larger area and has walls up and more buildings and the mayor can begin to choose buildings to place for the citizens of the node to assist in by gathering resources to complete its work. We saw an armory being built in the stream, but there are numerous other buildings to choose from, and keep in mind this is Alpha 1, so this will change as we get further into development, but we ended up seeing the ability to make an alchemist, the armory, an auction house, a blacksmith, and a library. We also know that each node will unlock a special building at the village stage specific to that node type. Once the build for the armory was requested, it initiated a build in the game, but would not be finalized until it had the required resources to complete the building which can be gathered by all citizens of the node. This was completely scaled down for the sake of showing off the features in the game, but the devs went to a Nikua village to gather stones and rocks to bring back to complete the build, granting people access to the armory. Along with building shops for players, citizens of the node also have the ability for houses. That wasn't shown today, but was talked about a bit, stating that the houses in the node are non instant and would require citizens to bid on them and it sounds like the house would go to the highest bidder. If you want to gain more citizens to a node, well that's where the mayor comes in. The mayor of the node will be the one setting the taxes on goods, which will then show up on NPCs and those taxes go directly to the node's coffers. These coffers will allow the mayor to decide on what to upgrade for the node, such as buying more citizen slots or initiating what are called public projects that require money and resources to complete. To become a citizen of a certain node, all they had to do was walk up to an NPC, which probably won't be that simple in the final product, but as a citizen you gain the ability to vote for the next mayor when the election time comes around, along with getting housing within a node. Nodes have said to impact the world around them, as certain choices could change how the server play out. In the case that was shown, a dragon attacked the node, although the game crashed so unfortunately we didn't get to see this play out fully, but once the dragon attacked, you gained a quest to go and defeat that dragon, which led to fighting through a non-instance dungeon to a dragon who was said to be a 40 man raid boss. What are your thoughts on what we are shown for nodes in the Alpha 1 preview? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also if you have yet to make an Ashes of Creation account and want to learn more about the game feel free to sign up using my referral link in the description below, otherwise stay tuned for a lot more news to come.